Hello there, folks. My name's Steven, and I have something super exciting to show you today. This is the brand new offering from Vortex, the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 8 by 24 First Focal Plane, or FFP, Low Power Variable Optic, or LPVO. Now, these scopes are primarily used for use on the AR-15, AR-10 platforms, or those that are similar. This scope features a 24 millimeter objective lens, a 30 millimeter main tube, and the entire scope has a hard anodized finish, as well as the lenses are fully multi-coated, and they also have an abrasion and scratch resistant coating to, added to them as well. It has an O-ring seal, so that this is fog proof and waterproof, it's nitrogen purged, and it is advertised as being shock proof. Now, it has, let's just start at the back here, it does come with these very, very nice, high quality scope covers. These aren't uh, low quality scope caps um, like you normally see that come with a scope. It has a knurled metal fast focus eyepiece right here. It is a bit stiff, but it's very smooth and fluid and it works well. Coming forward, you have an ample size eye box with the vortex uh, written on the side there. Then you come forward to your magnification ring the magnification ring um, is knurled and metal. Now I have found that this is a bit gritty and kind of a little grimy. Like when you run it, it feels a little bit cheaper. Um, it's not the worst I felt, it's not the best I felt. It, it works, but it makes a little bit of like a, a paper rubbing on paper sound. Um, it does have numeric values um, all the way from one to eight powers. And it does come with an included quick throw lever, which I really, really like, um, that is made of aluminum. I really like that it comes with that, with that throw lever. Then coming forward, um, you have a capped elevation turret. And the elevation turret on this, um, once you remove this nice aluminum knurled cap, um, is easy to use. It has knurling on it and it appears to be made out of aluminum. It has hash marks every quarter MOA and numeric values every one MOA. One full revolution is 25 MOA, which is quite a bit. Um, it is audible, but not very audible. And it is tactile, but not very tactile. Um, what's nice is the hash mark on the scope body does line up correctly with the hash marks on the turret itself, which you don't always see. Also, um, to adjust, or I should say to reset the zero on this, you can simply take the included vortex tool and place it into the Allen head screw at the top of the turret, loosen it, pop the turret up, and place it back down. So you can reset the zero on these. It works exactly the same on the windage turret. And then on the left side here, you have your illumination. Now on the outside of the illumination cap, you have, or dial I should say, you have a cap, you remove that, and it does come with a 2032 included battery. So O on this is off, and then you have illumination settings 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Those are for daytime illumination, and then you have uh, night vision 2 and night vision 1 illumination settings. That knob is knurled. Now, one thing I did note with that knob is it, it feels super cheap when you're running it. I just, it's, it's not necessarily sloppy. It just kind of, you can kind of hear it once again, like paper rubbing on paper. And it just, it feels cheap. Um, but it does work. It does come, of course, with an objective lens cap as well. That is quite good quality. Um, now, coming to the reticle. This features a, a reticle for quick target acquisition. And it's kind of like a half moon with a center dot and then the uh, main crosshairs come to a point before that. It is really good for quick target acquisition and I really do like it. When I noticed when I put the illumination on higher settings, I don't like it so much as it kind of seems to pixelate. The illumination becomes kind of pixelated. Also kind of a little bit wash outy at the same time. I, I'm not a huge fan of the illumination at the highest settings. Um, but at the middle or lower settings, it works quite well. I actually really like though, because it is a BDC design um, so that you can do holdovers very quickly out to 600 yards with a 5.56 or a 308. 
Now with the 5.56, I recommend you sight in the main crosshair at 50 yards, and that's how I found that it's dropped, uh, had proper bullet drop subtension wise to 600 yards. They are numerically valued um, for yardages as well, which is really nice. And so overall, I'm really happy, really pleased with this reticle. Really easy and quick to uh, acquire a target and uh, very nice. The eye relief is 3.9 inches. I would like to see that be a little bit greater um, because when it's on eight power magnification, I notice it's a little bit hard to get a sight picture. Um, and that's not just due to eye relief, but also the eye box and some other uh, optical issues. But it is usable. It has 145 minutes of elevation adjustment and 145 minutes of windage adjustment. So plenty of uh, adjustment there. The uh, parallax setting is set at 125 yards. And the length of this is 10.4 inches. The weight of it is 23.9 ounces. So it's not extremely light, but it's not extremely heavy either. So initial impressions with the glass on this scope is, well, it's got a 24 millimeter objective. So this is definitely not a long range or extreme long range rifle scope. This is made for closer quarters to mid range. Um, so you do get quite a bit of light transmission loss and it's not the brightest scope out there. However, uh, for what it's designed for, it functions and works very well. Um, I didn't really notice any significant edge to edge distortion. Uh, one thing to note is without it having a side parallax or adjustable parallax is that if you're in uh, at eight power at 15 yards or 10 yards, you're probably going to have a very fuzzy sight picture. It's not gonna be in focus properly. Um, so that is one thing to note. Um, but when you adjust the power lower, obviously that clears up your sight picture or your image and you don't have any issues. The takeaway from this is uh, initial impression wise, I think it's a very good budget, low power variable optic. Um, I think it uh, fills all the needs and desires of an LPVO in its price class. I do think the uh, illumination knob could be a little better. The illumination itself could be a little bit better. And, um, you know, maybe the uh, turrets could be a little more tactile, um, things like that. It just, it doesn't feel premium, but then once again, it is a budget low power variable optic. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Vortex Strike Eagle 1-8x24 LPVO FFP rifle scope.